By the end of this video, you're gonna see five different ways of accomplishing this design. Hey, Tyler back with Tech and Espresso. This video is inspired by Fusion 360 School's video. I loved what he did here. And I took some time to see if I could add any additional ways to build the same thing. So here we go, five different ways. Starting with a simple revolve, this shape, what I wanna do first is the sweep. And the sweep is two sketches, two profiles. I'll do a profile at the bottom. And you could do a just simple outline. And that's actually what I think is shown in that other video is just coming up and sketching a line and then sketching another. And then doing this profile. The one gotcha here is it's gonna pull away from the upper profile. So let's show that real quick and show how to fix it. So now we need a path. What's the easiest way to sketch a line on this face? Now, we could do a simple sketch, come to the right plane. Sketch that shape. That'll work, or you can use project. Now, one gotcha with these round objects is the edge doesn't wake up because it's round. Instead, come over, choose bodies, select that bodies, and it will project and draw those edges for you. Very cool. Now, I have too many extra projected edges. I'm gonna select those with my window select, hit delete, and now all I have left is the ones that I care about for the path. I now have effectively have two sketches that will sweep. Go to sweep command. We've got the profile that follows a path. Now here's the gotcha I mentioned earlier. It's pulling away because it's not intersecting at this round face. So what can we do? In our profile, something to be aware of, you wanna just go ahead and complete this and drag this in. And we could just delete this and replace it with the rectangle, take the time to get this centered, turn on the origin, use the construction planes, however you like to center things. I'll sketch to the point here, choose that line, make that the midpoint. That looks great. Hit accept. And now what we want to do is redo that sweep. Make sure that the whole profile is selected. The path. Make sure that it's joining. And look at your options. You want to make sure that it's set to parallel. If you see yours kind of coming up and over, come over to your orientation, select parallel. Looks great, and we want to confirm that the sweep will pattern. It's a circular pattern. The feature is the sweep, and we're going to pattern along this axis. All right, number two, a simple one. Let's do an extrude and then chop it away. All right, so we'll do sketch. Rectangle. I'm going to connect it to the bottom and I'll make sure that the center point is already ready to go. That point to this line will make that midpoint. It's lined up and centered. Great. Okay. So I'm going to extrude this coming out. Make sure that it's joined. And you can overdo it. And then we're going to clean up the profile with a cut. Come in from the side, start a sketch. And this sketch line, you need to define the outer of your design profile. So come in, add your dimensions, add your constraints to get this lined up just how you want it. And then we can cut away this material or this excess material there. Now, one gotcha is the pattern. So this is a super simple way to do it, I think, but it took two steps. And now for the pattern, that's the warning, is make sure that you get the solid body and the cut in the objects that you want to feed in that you want to pattern. That's one gotcha for that one. Will the optimized work? It does. There we go. All right, number three, using the rib command. So I love the rib command. It's a little weird for this one because we need boundaries to work off of. So I need to have some boundaries for it to extend to up top. And so I can just do a simple circle and extrude that. And we'll join it. Make sure that's joined. You want to extend the body. And same thing goes for this one. Start a sketch. Add some sort of boundary at the bottom. 
and then we'll get rid of this in a little bit. Make sure that you choose join. I left that off. All right, so now you can come in from the side and do that rib profile. So select that plane to sketch on. And I'm going to sketch the rib that I want, just the outer shape. And what's nice about this is it will update nicely, and we get a little more control over it once we start it. So we'll choose rib command. And look at what it's doing there. It's extending up. That's not actually, I want to go one side and we'll come down much better. And actually, let's do symmetric. So it's extending on both sides and finishing out. Looks good. Hit OK. And now a few different ways. We could come in and just do E for extrude and come in and make a cut, same depth to match. Or you can use delete on your keyboard and use fusion to delete the faces. So you've got to clean that up. So I don't love that extra work of the boundaries, but I love how this uh, rib feature um, is editable and adjustable. And number four, let's do a thin feature or a surface on the outside that we'll use as a boundary. So what we'll do first is sketch that rectangle in the interior like we did before. Sketch that shape going up, add the relationship or constraint, select that point and that line, make them line up, midpoint, great. So what I want to do is extrude this, but I need a surface on the outside for it to hit. So coming in from the side, perpendicular to the face we just did, we'll start a sketch. And we'll do a line. And I'm going to overlap a little bit. This is the outer boundary of our extrusion that we want to go to. So add your dimensions and relationships and constraints. Get this lined up how you want it. And then let's do a surface extrude, or just an extrude. I'll use the orange for surface. I'm going to extrude it both ways. And then we'll extrude the other body to hit it. So we'll hit and extrude this interior. And we want it to come up to this face, but we're going to need to make sure that we choose up to an object. And we want to use the adjacent faces. So it's solving off of both. We'll join. And then come find your surface body and turn that off. All right, number five, I think the most elegant and simplest. Here we go. Come in from the side, the side of the profile that you want, and start a sketch. I'm going to use P for project, and I'm going to sketch these outer lines just so I got that to dimension off of and do my relationships and constraints. And make sure I use the rounded bodies so I have these outer edges. Great. So what I want to sketch, coming, starting pretty far in, come out, come down, connect it up. I can make these vertical. And it looks like I messed up just a little bit. Let's try it again. There we go. Sketch that line coming down. And there we go, and over. OK, so I've sketched the shape plus um, a lot of excess or extra material. And that'll work because this is a solid. Now, if this was hollowed out and we need to do it, it'd be a little bit different approach. Come in, add my dimensions that I care about, add any constraints that I care about, make these parallel. Whatever we're trying to solve, get it lined up how you want. And now we're going to do an extrude with the whole profile, the interior and outer. Coming out, we'll maybe make set this to symmetric and join it. And there we go. So that's probably the simplest and fastest way you could have done that one. And then we'll add that circular pattern.
Hey, if you can think of a better way to do this design, I'd love to hear it. Shoot me an email. I'll put that down below or go over to techandespresso.com and drop me a line. Let me know what you came up with. I'll see you guys in the next video.